Peace, oh family, peace. Welcome to Spiritual Social. It's your girl, Anjali, and today I'm going to semi-show you how to make a perfect candle every single time. So, um, I will be making candles from my personal candle collection, which is on AnjaliSoulSense.com. Um, people always ask me what wax do I use, even other small business owners of candles ask me what wax I use. Um, I've been using this company for about two years. Um, yeah, Freedom Soy Wax, all natural soy wax for candles, and soy, uh, it's American Soy Organics. So, yeah, which is really good. I love how it blends with the cold pressed essential oils, which is really good because a lot of times if your oils don't blend properly with your wax, they stink or you just won't smell them or it just won't be as potent and I like my candles to range from mild to really really strong so that's what you'll find on my site so here I'm going to turn my camera over a little bit more over here you ha I have my wax pots it's not plugged in yet so I'm just I'll pick it up so this is that and it's really cool because it has temperatures and stuff like that. Um, it ranges from off to 400 degrees and it has a warm setting. So that's really, really dope. All right, I'm gonna plug that bad boy back in. I haven't turned to on yet because I wanted to like come through the steps process. So for this bag of soy, I never really go higher than 200 uh, degrees and it really starts to melt within three to five minutes so I, it doesn't even really take that long. So, okay. Ooh. Ooh, I don't have no muscles today. Where are you going, girl? <laughs> oh, that scissors somewhere. Always gotta keep scissors on your business station because I am not that strong today. I'm asleep. So, you get to pour about 10 pounds of wax into this specific uh, wax melter, but I already had wax sitting at the bottom, so I already had like probably three, three inches of wax on the, top, on the bottom from the last pop. So that's pretty good, All right? I'm gonna roll it up so you see how much of the bag is actually wax. So, that's a decent amount, you know? Put that to the side. So now, now big C. So I always like to just pat it down flat. And now I'm going to turn it to 200. Okay. And this part, oops. Okay, so I'm not going to move it anymore once it's plugged in and it is going to start melting. So I'm just going to leave it. But I assure you, I put it on 200. I put the cap back on. So now while my wax is melting, right i have my five ounce jars and i have my eight ounce jars so now i'm going to oh this one has a sticker already perfect so i'm going to put my warning stickers on there basically is to let you know this prevents a fire please trim it how many inches to trim it so all right so this is very important um to add to your candle jars so i'm just do that really fast Right. <laughs> yeah. And it's the little stuff that I really enjoy. Like I like this. This is the cool part. Okay. So now I'm done. I have two, four, five, five ounce jars with me. And I have oop, we need one on that one. I thought they were all stickered up the eight ounce jars. Let me see. No, everyone now I always tell people do this step first. Because once you start adding your wax and your oils and your flowers and your crystals, you really forget about this. I have waited to the end and it slipped my mind and I went to a pop-up shop and the first thing a customer did was this and it was bare. So always do this step first because it's just so tedious you'll forget to do it towards the end. So just do it in the front. So these are already good. So that's four jars right now. I got five, six. All right. Seven, eight. So we're gonna do eight, eight ounces and five, five ounces. Wow, that's that's cool. I didn't even realize that. So also, 
I use a glue gun. Um, now this is my personal glue gun. It's been through war. It was also gifted to me from one of my co-workers when I first started this company two years ago. Thank you, Michelle. It is still being used to this day. Um, I don't know if it's on its last leg or not, but it's definitely doing me justice. So then you just want to put a nice thin coat of the glue on the anchor part so that your candle, your wick doesn't start to slide once the candle starts to melt. Okay? You always want to put your um, glue gun on a safe, heated place because it will burn through everything. Trust me. My business table has so many holes. Okay? So, you take your jar, you try to get it in the center. I'm pretty good at this now because I've just been doing it for so long. <laughs> And I always tell people when you are making candles, make sure you have a chopstick somewhere near you because it just really helps you like align that and get to it. But I also would like to tell you guys, this glue dries really fast. So while I was talking, it really dried up. So I'm gonna do this quick. Perfect. Now it's really in there. Okay. And that happens, uh, the residue from the glue itself tends to uh, come out the glass but you just move it and that's it so now that's one thing. so now I have another one here these are for my eight ounce jars only because I have the shorter wicks for the five ounce jars so I like to be very resourceful I don't like to waste mother earth's things so I like to incorporate every tiny material and definitely dig in recycling okay so I always like to do this first um, because while you're waiting for this to melt these are drying also so by the time your wick your wax I'm sorry once your wax is at a, a, a fully melted um, liquid base it's good because now your glue is completely dry and you don't have to worry about the oil or the wicks lifting up the glue and having it move side to side so that's really dope all right I don't really know how long this video is going to be but I want to be as detailed and as informative as I can possibly be just because when I was starting this candle business I came across people online teaching people how to make candles but they weren't really in depth I kind of still have to play tennis so I want to make a video that gives you a just with not only a visual and a verbal um, demonstration. So yeah, so I'm gonna pop the top off of this. It's just easier. And today we're making my girl's famous Palo Santo um, and found me a candle. And my also my top seller for my anxiety collection, which is a line. Um, this weekend, last weekend I had two pop-up shops back to back. And those were a killing because I sold out of those like the first couple of hours. So definitely have to just make another batch. And I always tell people when you're making candles, don't try to be cute. Because you get so much oil and wax and glue on you that it would just really tee you off if you was wearing something glamorous. You know, so... I always try to be extra comfortable in my hippie vibe while I'm making candles. And especially in clothes, I don't mind them getting stained. You know? So. And this is actually the fun part for me. I like putting the double maple wooden wicks, right? Into the little anchor clamps, right? Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. You, just, you don't have to put a lot of glue. What I do is put a drop and then I use the, the tip of the gun to smear it. Okay, so. And then you push it down a little. Not too much pressure, but a decent amount of pressure to get the uh, anchor directly in the center and you know keep it sturdy. <laughs> I had a 
kids. I was on a bus the other day and kids was like, oh, we about to get sturdy. I'm like, oh no. And then they just started dancing, like bebopping on the on the <laughs> So I hope you guys are like enjoying my YouTube channel. Like I really just started to get out of my head about just posting. I, I stopped overthinking about my background and my workspace is a workspace. It's gonna look messy at times, you know. I'm trying to be, you know, in the moment, in present, you know, not trying to be so perfect I guess because that's what it boils down to I was like oh this is not right this is not perfect enough I'm not gonna post that I'm not gonna talk about that but after I released like my first collective one and then my second and then that yoga video I'm on a ball like I, I kind of want to start doing teaching you guys about certain mudras um, different yoga uh, stretches for certain chakra points and opening and removing the, bl the blockages within I want to show you the benefits of Reiki. Um, if you want to do it on yourself, your children, your friends, or your family, or you know you wanted to come in for a service by me, just the benefits of that overall. Um, I definitely want to teach you about crystals in multiple forms: for, uh, protection crystals, cleansing crystals, crystals that help with psychic attacks and things like that. Because I'm noticing I'm getting more inquiries about those specific types of crystals, which I have on my site. Uh, and I have way more crystals coming to the site, so that's something good to look out for. I'm really excited about that. Um, all right, so boom. We are officially done with the eight ounce jars. So remind you, we got eight eight ounce jars, right? Alright, so now it's time for the five ounce shards. And I'm just taking the tops off. So these are not a screw top, these are a pop. Pop it on, pop it off. Alright? And I'm gonna just go over to the wax so you guys can like get a little view. But it's melting pretty darn good. I can't really zoom in, but take my word for it. It's it's just so pretty. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. Okay, so for my five ounce uh, candles, I usually have these size wicks, which are the same maple wood double uh, double weights. So we also are going to put these in anchors. Completely out of my hand. Okay. And then the same process. A little drop. Spread it out. Now, when it comes to the oil and infusing the oil with the uh, with the wax at a certain temperature, I've noticed and I've researched the best temperature to blend everything together is 165. Anything higher than that, you're gonna burn the oil. Anything lower than that, it won't be as potent as you want. Trust me, I had a lot of trial and error, but my soul family and you know my clientele, they were very honest when they would get certain candles from me when I first started, like, hey, this one is not that strong. Hey, this one is not staying lit long enough. And from there I grew and I got better. And now I don't have those complaints. I don't have those problems. Now my problem is, do you make any other size candles? Anything bigger? And I'm just like, okay guys, so let's look at it now. So the wax is completely melted. So once it's completely melted, you don't really want to leave it on 200 for too long. 
Um, you want to leave that for about another minute or two just to keep it hot. And then you want to automatically switch it over to warm. Okay, so that's the intense part. So my camera, I'm still learning how to edit and stuff like that. So now we did our eight ounces first. So the wick and the anchor should be dry, right? So we are going to pour, all right. So I'm gonna do four align me and four palo santo, as well as two. So a lot of people ask me, do you measure it? Do you? Nope, I do based off smell, okay? So I know if I ever hired someone, I don't really know. I, they would have to watch me first and then kind of pick up on this intuition, so. Switch it around, clock, count to up. But you really want the oil to swish around the jar to marinate. So right there, that's enough alignment. And it gets stronger the longer it sits. So you really have to pay attention here. Alright, so for align me, I already mixed all oils in one um, sunproof uh, jar. So I'm a wild woman today. drop our wax down to warm right and this is what I always forget when I so I use so I use one of these glass to put the wax in here and then transition it into the glass because honestly the nozzle of this machine is really like it's really circular and then wide so it literally pushes back the wick and then it just messes up everything. So I've noticed this technique is a little bit cleaner, easier, and you don't really burn yourself because this pours out really, really fast and it's super hot. So just be very cautious about that. I have burnt myself recently, um, a couple of days ago. So just, just be mindful, it is super hot fire, okay? rag and I hold the jar like that so I don't know if you're able, if you're able to be able to see oh, oh. Okay. Fully. so I turn the blue nozzle to the left and it fills up pretty fast as you can see alright and then you just want to wipe because then the wax drips on the floor and it's kind of hard to get out the floor and then you just transition. So, of course, that's not enough. So, of course, we gotta go back. Pour some more into that. Alright, and now, oops. I need 
need a tripod, you guys. I need it to follow me. I think it'll be following it. All right, let me pour it to the top. All right, now, I'm gonna pour this back in there so it can stay warm. Okay, so this is where your bamboo stick comes in handy. All right, because you still want to mix that oil. So I go to the very bottoms and then to the corners and I just stir. And you'll know when it's uh, blended enough because the smell will be out of this world. And that's what you're really looking for. Um, so this is a limey for anxiety relief. This has been my top seller for two years straight since I started this company. Um, the base of this oil is frankincense and myrrh, which is a very spiritual oil, a very indigenous oil. Um, it helps with anxiety, depression, insomnia. It also helps with spiritual guidance, tapping into your higher self. It also helps as a grounding mechanism for your root and your sacral chakra, right? So so many benefits and i'm a holistic spiritual aromatherapy shop so my main goal is getting you to be self-aware for you to ground yourself and you to have um the maximum relaxation that you can possibly get at the end or the beginning of your day or just in between so when you tap that you don't want to waste no excess oil i know i don't this is expensive baby That's it. That is it. That's the money makeup. So you guys see me disappear because now I have to put this in an area to cool down, which is not the workstation. So give me a hot second. more to go all right so we're gonna switch the oils around right because you want the oil to originally marinate on the glass before you even pour the wax in okay i wish you guys could smell this right now because oh my god no wonder it's been a top seller for two years. I know what I'm doing, okay? If you haven't already experienced this beautiful, beautiful candle and this beautiful scent by Anjali Soul Scents LLC, please head over to my website at www.anjalisoulscents.com. Eight ounces are $20 and you get about a 24 hour burn. And you can manipulate that any way you want because this is a double wooden wick, which provides a slow, even burn. No toxins being released. You get more 100% of the scent. So, it's up to you, okay? I already shipped to 43 states and counting, okay? Get you some. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go back over here. Turn that on. Go to the top. All right. And sometimes the wax does drip, so you just want to, you know, Dap it with your with your rag so the wax doesn't get on your floor. Because if you don't clean it up immediately, it does stick. And it's just really annoying after that. Like just super annoying. <laughs> okay, so we know that's that needs a little bit more wax. So we're gonna head back over here. a relaxing thing like I started this company originally because I was 
dealing with severe anxiety and panic attacks. And um, when I first started this company, it was during the pandemic. And um, I was having separation anxiety, um, you name it. Like At that time, I was a full-time preschool teacher. And I was working literally probably like six days a week because I would also babysit some of my students on weekends for their parents. So I was with children all day, all day, pretty much all my life. And when I hit and I was home and my whole routine was around them, it really caused separation anxiety. And I'm not a big pill popper. Um, I make my own medicine and everything. And if you want to learn more about that, head over to my site and read my journey. Um, so I've been making my own medicine for about seven years. And I haven't gotten sick. I haven't caught COVID. And I haven't gotten the flu. Um, so I teach people how to boost your immune system naturally. How to detox. When to detox. Um, you know, how to speak to yourselves. To speak life into your organs, to your blood, to your heart to your brain, to your chakras, you know, um, because you're alive, everything in your body is alive and it's listening, you know, so that's what I do, and I started this candle company because I realized I am very tuned into scents around me, I can, a scent can bring me back to a memory, it can make me feel happy, sad, it can trigger very, um, uh, many different types of emotions within me and if I'm just one person and that happens to me I'm sure it's a hundred other million people and I, I was right so I started to study Native American herbalism I started to study aromatherapy and then I became a chemist in my kitchen and in my living room and from there I came up with nine different scents four different categories in insom no three insomnia depression and anxiety, anxiety. Three different categories, nine different scents for each category. Um, and yeah, I've been helping people since then. I also make vegan capsules such as ashwagandha, uh, chester tree berry, fenugreek pills. I also have herbal teas. I have Egyptian hibiscus raw, organic. I have motherland raw, organic. I also have butterfly blue, uh, butterfly pea tea, and raspberry tea. Raspberry tea is really good because it really works on fertility, hormonal balance, um, lactation, wound health, supporting the uterus, strengthening the uterus, especially if you are one to have miscarriages or just can't hold to full term or can't get pregnant at all. Um, raspberry tea is really something good to incorporate into your uh, daily routine of health. Um, it's helped me with my fertility problems and issues when I was 27, 29 now, and I don't have those issues, and it only took me. All right, peace, oh family, peace. So right here we have our 8-ounce Palo Santo, and right now you only see the flowers because I did not trim the wick or add the mini crystals yet. So I'm going to do that on camera with you. So I'm going to move this to the side. Let's do one at a time. All right. So I'm not trying to get too much light. So we have our dry jasmines in there, right? These are all my mini healing gemstones that I put into um, all soul scent candles so we have turquoise we have lapis we have green adventuring right we have our amethyst and we have our tiger's eye so each crystal I mean each candle gets about five to six crystals One down, some more to go. We trim the wick. All right. Most of my flowers did not stick down. So now I just go easy. So now it's time for the crystals as well. This is the fun part. 
the quick and the fun part. Try to get them all on the outskirts of the wick so that when it burns you get like this good circular pattern going on. Alright. And of course this is going to happen like you're going to get wicks, wax, I'm sorry, on the rim of the candle. This comes off simply with a warm rag. You just wipe it off. Or if your nails are long enough and you do not mind getting the wax in your nails you can just literally go around it and the wax just comes up like that so let's trim it all right all right now we add our crystals we have our bloodstone here all right we have our ruby red right and we have this one green adventuring another rose quartz and we're done with this rose quartz one is big okay. Okay. So three down one large eight ounce to go and then we have three five ounces left back all right and that's what we do for all of them so I usually let the wicks cure overnight for about eight to nine hours. But sometimes if I have a show or anything, I let the wicks, I mean the wax cure for about three to four hours and then that's still good enough to use that day. Still potent enough um, to smell all through the house. But the longer you let it, your candle cure after you've made it is the better. It has a longer lasting smell and it's just, it's just more, more better, I guess. All right, now we got our five ounces, but only three, right? All right, so I'm gonna do this kind of quick. Let me just cut all, let me just trim the whip. Get that up, there's nothing to save. They're already short. guys need this this is palo santo and earlier we made the align me which is two of my top top sellers but align me is my top seller for my anxiety collection and it has been for two years since i started this business so thank you everyone who supported align me who's purchased it who's repurchased and shared with their family i love you um couldn't really do any of this without uh the loyalty of customers followers friends family so i appreciate you guys and i know i'm doing this quick you're like let me see let me see anjali let me just do it i still have like 40 more candles to make so i just showed you how i make a quick 10. Subscribe to my channel, hit that bell, so anytime I drop something new, you're the first to find out, you're the first to view, you know? Alright, now, ooh, baby, alright, and then, what I told you, just clean the wicks, the wicks off the sides. make a perfect candle every single time and if you have any questions comments please leave it in the, the comment area and I'll get back to you if you want to see something specific on the channel um, let me know I'm open to it all um, so yeah I'm sending you guys major love and light 
head over to my site. That's www.angelisoulsense.com. <laughs> and grab you your own 8 or 5 ounce anxiety, insomnia, and depression relief candle. I'll be waiting.